see how I got this look using the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. Keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back to this beauty closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty, luxury and lifestyle videos. Consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos like this and ringing the bell so you don't miss any videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, we are right closing up for December and coming back at you with another New Year's Eve glam look using none other than her mothership, Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. I picked this beauty up in the 25% off sale. That was a surprise sale and I'm so glad I did. And this was on my list to get, but considering the price, I just, you know, couldn't justify it, especially considering how much I've already bought. But thank God for the sale because I scored a bargain. That's enough waffling from me, so we'll get into this look and then we'll come back with some final thoughts. All right, so I've done my brow and I've primed my eyelid standard, my MAC paint pot. I'm going in with my Sigma E35 brush and using the shade Entrapment as my transition shade, putting it just above my crease under my brow bone. And I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. That's what that's looking like. Now going in with my MAC 217, going into the shade Disobedient, and we're going to pop that in my natural crease and also just above my natural crease in the fold. And we're gonna wedge that brush in there, place the color down and blend. Circular motions, wind wiper. Now we're winging the shadow out as well. So we're blending it and blend, blending it through the crease and blending it outwards. So you just wanna wing that shadow out, make it nice and smoky. Just take your time with this. And just keep blending. I have got some specks of glitter on my eyes. That's just from the other brushes touching my blending brushes. The shadows are matte. That's what that's looking like so far. A bit of dimension. Next, I'm going into the shade Extreme Aubergine. And we're going to pop that in our outer V and blend inwards and also wing out. So I'm placing it down using, using the same MAC 217 brush. Placing that shadow down first and then we're going to blend in circular motions outwards and then we're going to bring it in and honestly guys just take your time blending so I'm laying some more down and building it up winging it out and blending it inwards as well so just keep blending guys just keep blending um, winging it really outwards as well, just showing you from a different angle. Okay, now going in with my E35 and we're going back into the shade Entrapment just a little bit and we're blending just above that transition bit where we initially laid it down. We've lost a bit there, so we're just adding it back. Now switching to my MAC 242, going into the stunning shade Rose Gold 005. We're going to place that on our lid in a semi-circle shape, taking it a bit higher. So placing that down, how stunning is this shade? Beautiful. Just use small motions. If you pat too much, it will spray everywhere. Then I'm gonna spray the brush after picking the shadow with my setting spray, just to make it a bit more intense. And you can see it's a bit foiled when I put it down. That's the look we're going for. So just pat really small or you get flecks of glitter spraying everywhere. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. So just patting using the edge of that brush to really help define that semicircle shade and you can see it's really reflective really gorgeous so i'm just using the edge of that 242 or whatever brush you use just use the edge of that brush to help you shape it now we're going into the shade vr fire opal we're taking a small bit on the mac 242 placing that on the center of the lid just a small bit to help with some dimension and then we're going into the shade Astral Lunar Gold and also patting that on top in the center, same 242 brush. And now we're going with the E35, nothing extra on it, we're just blending the mattes. Blend, 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 lots of blending. And then we're going back into the shade Astral Lunar Gold and we're taking just a normal pencil brush. We're gonna spray that after we pick the shadow up, put that on our inner corner as a highlight shade. Any pencil brush will do. I'm just using a Morphe one. The name's rubbed off, I think. Now we're going to our Wayne Goss number eight brush and guess what? We are tight lining. We're using the shade Extreme Aubergine 
and we're just going to tight line our upper lash line as we usually do then going into Azoeva 223 taking the shade disobedient again running that along the whole lower lash line then we're going to go into extreme aubergine with the same brush and just do that along the um, outer third of the lash line and then we're going to connect that then switching to my Sigma E40 and we're going to blend those together and going into my Fenty Beauty fly, nine, fly liner <laughs> doing a wing using my Hourglass Caution Mascara and some wispy lashes Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I am in love. This palette is stunning, guys. Absolutely stunning. First, just some quick thoughts. The colour palette, the colour story of the palette, it's gorgeous cohesion. This for me, with the um, 10 pan palettes, out of all the 10 pan palettes she's made, this has got to be my favourite that I've seen, just from seeing it. Obviously, I don't have all of them, but for me it's just so cohesive and i feel like you can completely make looks with this start to finish you don't need to pull other palettes for mattes you don't need to pull other palettes for different shimmers you've got your transition shades you've got your smoky shades you've got your neutral shades your crease shades and you've got your bomb glitters you've got your duo chromes honestly this palette has it palette has it all so heavy guys the mirror is gorgeous it is you can feel the quality the quality is there with the product as well as the packaging gorgeous so it does this is the this is the back of the palette and it actually says um, use without caution shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use so i love that humor they're guaranteed for 18 months which is great honestly it's gorgeous the mirror is like bezeled guys it's like bezeled edges really old-fashioned they really house quite well this cord of shadows here they kind of look like they're baked i think and they feel a bit different these two are duo chromes this red is stunning these shades here and i used all these no fallout whatsoever in the pan guys none or maybe some of this um shimmers but that was when i was vigorously going into it these shades even without spraying them as you saw in the demo they were fine but i just wanted that that look you know if you follow pat mcgrath on instagram you'll see she has like a light on her subjects and when they close their eyes you can see the sparkles so i kind of wanted that effect with the shimmers and they did not disappoint this shade here extreme aubergine unreal i have not got a deep purple shade like that that is so smoky so pigmented and so soft a lot of fans really get it wrong with the mattes the matte shades in the palette were all beautiful soft buttery no fallout no dust storms kicked up with the way i go in with my eyeshadows so i loved it honestly i can't wait to do more looks with this beauty of palette i'm struggling guys because it's heavy <laughs> so i really love it my lips i actually did a concoction so i've got the nars vinyl glosses the really high shine glosses and i've got the shade Baden Baden and um, Abruzzo so I really wanted this shimmer from Abruzzo but I didn't want it by itself and I really like the smokiness and vampiness of this one so I just combined them but honestly guys gorgeous and this is definitely a look that I would 100% wear on New Year's this is definitely a lot more glam a bit of smoky so a bit of smokiness but definitely glam and you close your eyes and oh it's just beautiful <laughs> So really love this. I've been loving this palette. I cannot wait to use it. Honestly, when I got it and I was swatching it, I was like, oh, <laughs> it's just one of those palettes, guys. This shade here too, the way the green is shimmering is stunning. And I did put that those shades in the center of the lid just to give it a bit of dimension as well. So that when you move and also, you know, when you blink or you're talking to someone or you close your eyes, you catch that. That, that dimension so that's what that's why I put that shade in the middle but you can see I'm just going to keep rambling and rambling but I really enjoyed playing with this palette if you can you know get into a store where maybe a Sephora where they have it and just play with it for yourself and see but it's all honestly gorgeous the only thing is it is going to attract lots of fingerprints it is what it is so that concludes the end of today's video guys thank you so much for tuning in thank you for sticking with me with the bombarding of videos and the twice weekly uploads for december i really enjoyed all these makeup looks and playing basically playing with makeup that i have and i hope you guys have enjoyed this too 
on your way out please consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for more videos like this and so you don't miss any uploads thanks again guys can't wait to see you back here again click here to catch my last video click here to also subscribe and click here for more from news beauty closet till next time guys